How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here with the Evercade Versus. Now the people at Blaze Entertainment and Evercade sent me one of these for the purpose of this video and I'm looking to check this out because I'm a big fan of the Evercade and what they've been doing recently. Now if you're not familiar with Evercade, they have this portable handheld system I've been a fan of. Uh, I've done several videos of it on my channel and the idea of it being it's every game is a multi-card. There's at least a couple of games on each one and they're all cartridge based so it's something that you can collect as well. I'm actually a very big fan of the Evercade so the fact that they have a Versus console that's meant to be the at home version of the Evercade. And although, yes, you can play the Evercade with the HDMI, uh, this one's equipped and meant to be the thing that you have plugged in at home. Versus meaning there's two controllers. On this one, there's only the one controller, but this one's meant to be couch co-op style, and I'm super excited to check this out. There's a couple of these that you can pre-order right now. I had the links to Amazon anyway. There's one that just comes with one controller and just the Technos collection. That's going for $99.99. Spend the extra 20 bucks, you get a second controller, and then get the Data East arcade collection. Um, I'd certainly opt for that one because Data East makes a ton of great arcade games. We're going to check some of them out in this video. The other beautiful thing being that there's two cartridge slots. So you can have two games in there and then have even more games to select from without having to get up, swap out carts, put another game in there, stuff like that. So uh, let's let's check this out. Uh, like that. I'll put this somewhere safe for now. Pulp Fiction style, like this. And here, ah, gimme. There we go. Good lord. Here's your Evercade. It's gonna seem a little bit lighter than you're probably used to or expecting. Um, but this is your this is your Evercade, and then there's your two cartridge slots. Oh, cool. And there's even USBs for four controllers using micro USB. I was hoping it would be USB-C, but then your HDMI that will plug into your TV, 1080p on this one. And it also comes with your Technos collection. Some great games on here, including Combat Tribes, Double Dragon 2, there's even Double Dragon 3, Matt Mania is on here. Be a fun one. And then your Data East collection. And this is the arcade version of Bad Dudes, Burger Time, games like Sly Spy, Lock and Chase. That's a classic for me. Oh, they got Wizard Fire on here. Awesome, I love Wizard Fire. Standard micro USB. There's no uh, power charger on here, but that's okay. I, I got one I can use. Couple of controllers, very cool. It's an interesting layout. Um, I'm looking forward to actually playing with one of these here. And there's no HDMI, which is not a deal breaker. I have several extra HDMIs laying around here. Plug it in, see what it looks like. The very first thing it's going to ask you to do is connect to Wi-Fi. That way you can download like firmware updates and stuff like that later on in the future. So before you'd have to actually have to plug in your Evercade to the computer and all that, this time it's all Wi-Fi. That's super neat. Now this is the Technos Arcade Volume 1. Um, so you got a couple games on here. Combat Tribes is fantastic. Got Double Dragon 2 and 3. We can check out one of these games right now. Here's Double Dragon 2. Very cool. And I'm sure the select button is entered coin. Looks like it is. You can do that as many times as you want. No quarters needed. And like the NES version, one button attacks one way, the other one attacks the other way. Oh, it's even maps like the arcade. That's awesome. So like the, you know, the, uh, you know, one button attacks to the left, one button attacks to the right, depending on where the enemies are. You got your jump button. Yep. Very cool. And I'm not doing, not doing as well as I should. We'll figure it out though. <laughs> nice. And interesting that the 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 menu button is right here to back out. Almost always I'm going to hit that for start just because I'm so used to having my D-pad, uh, my, my thumb on the D-pad the whole time and then just reaching over and hitting start. Um, start button and select button are over here. So that's going to take some time for me to get used to. And to check out some other games, here's the Data East Arcade Collection. And you can pop it in as it's playing. It'll just refresh it, right? There you go. See? Now you got bad tudes. You got um and the other games are mixed in there too, you know, alphabetically. You know, here's chain reaction along with this is Gate of Doom. It says Game of Doom, but you know. Uh Sly Spy. Some fun ones on here. Wizard Fire, that's a really fun one. Even gives you some options too. Right now I have it on Pixel Perfect, but if you want to go original, if you want to stretch the screen for some reason, that's fine. You got um, the scan lines with the uh, shaders as well. Bezels, these are like the art on the side of the machine. If you only turn it off just so it's like a black background, fine. But if you want to add a little color or maybe, you know, just some, like, some box art from the background, whatever's good for you. And then just if you want to add scan lines. So I have it on Pixel Perfect, and maybe I will turn on like strong scan lines. Let's see what this looks like. And for a classic arcade game, let's go a lock and chase, just so you can see kind of what it looks like with the scan lines and all that. Because sometimes some of these old kind of blocky pixel games, they actually look better with scan lines. They're made to do that for the shading and all that. Like the graphics were made with that intention. It gives it that kind of classic look too. And from often with lock and chase, I don't need to tell you it's a I mean it's a it's a Pac-Man clone, basically. But there's doors and stuff to consider. Ooh! -hoo -hoo. Oh no! Aha! In your face! Ah yes, the early 80s, where it was <laughs> admired to uh, be a criminal, apparently. <laughs> Fun game, I like this one. This is, it's an old school classic favorite of mine. Mysterious Stones? I'm not super familiar with. So we're going to the Andes. Looks like my kind of game already. 1984, Dr. John's Adventure. Well, hey, I'm already there. 
Uh, I guess I'll go in here. Uh oh, there's like. <laughs> is it a kill all the enemies type of thing? I'm guessing it is. Um, I'll be streaming more of that later on Twitch. That looks fun. Uh, Dynamite Tommy. Dynamite Tommy, named after the Dynamite Kid. Tommy. What's his last name? Of course, Insane Warrior. All right. <laughs> Lame. It never happened. And along with the Evercade, they also sent over a few more things. Now, the Evercade versus, this is the premium pack that came with Data East and Technos. And more from the Arcade Collection, they also sent over the Atari Arcade Collection. Very cool. Now, this is the Galico Collection. Not Jalico, but Galico. Uh, they have some interesting titles on here. There's a Bitmap Brothers Collection. And I'm pretty excited for the Intellivision Collection, too. There's some great games on this. There's no game in there. You can pop one in there. This is that Galico Collection. Pretty interesting stuff here. Alligator hunt? Let's give it a shot. Oh, with the kid on a skateboard. So much attitude. But I like games like that are like this. This would, this would be a fun two-player game, too. If I had a second player. A little bit of world rally here. Sure, why not? Got to drift around these corners here. Oop, too much. Or maybe not enough, huh? <laughs> sure looks neat. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's why... All right, I need to rewatch Initial D, figure out how to drive again. Here's a game called Thunder Hoop. Let's give it a shot. Oh, first thing I do is die. Perfect. Let's try this again. Okay, I get it. A little platforming here. <laughs> I love the animation. Oof. Ooh, I got a better shot now. The Atari Arcade Collection. Oh, Crystal Castles. Absolutely. Love this one. So although in the arcade, this game uses a uh, roller ball, like a track ball, um, the D-pad works fine for a game like this. It's a, I'm not really used to it, only because, you know, the arcade... Well, see? <laughs> the arcade gives you a little bit more precision on where you're going. Um, but still, yeah, it, it, it works fine. Just love how it like draws the stage every time you go somewhere new. Grab the honey to make the bees mad. Ooh, come on. You jump the tree. Look. <laughs> Those guys too. Skydiver's a favorite of mine here. You have to launch out of the plane, pull your parachute, and then glide to your points and get those points. If you jump out and don't pull your parachute, that's what happens. But you gotta like, you know, like that's too far and the wind's not gonna, see the flags, the, yeah, it's not gonna let me land where I need to go. I played a ton of this for the Atari 2600. All while avoiding the uh, shots, and it's like Missile Command style, the explosion will defeat the uh, missiles here. But you don't want to lose your guns, and you gotta defeat the enemy bases here. Oh no, I lost that one up there. Okay. It's just so cool that even when the game is on... You just pop in another game and it just automatically refreshes. Just love that. In fact, one thing you could do if you wanted was take your Data East collection that already exists on the Evercade. That's like the 8-bit, 16-bit versions. And you can compare them to the arcade versions. And there's a couple of them, like, you know, like Burger Time's on here, Bad Dudes. You want to see what Bad Dudes looks like on the NES. And you want to see what Bad Dudes looks like on the, um, you know, on the arcade here. You know, do a do a little compare and contrast, maybe. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to be streaming a whole lot of this on Twitch. So make sure you're following me on Twitch. And I've done several videos on the Evercade itself, as well as some of the games that come out when they're coming out as well. I'm a huge fan, and um, make sure you check those out. We'll see you soon.